an alarming number of viruses and bacteria are falling from the sky every day, new research has found. Scientists at the University of British Columbia have recorded the number of viruses that are swept from Earth's surface into the free troposphere each day. They then track the amount that fall back to the Earth's surface. Their study, the first on the topic, found that once the viruses are in the troposphere they can travel thousands of kilometers before falling back to Earth. The troposphere is the layer of the atmosphere past Earth's weather systems yet below the stratosphere, which is where jet planes travel. Study author Curtis Suttle explained the phenomenon of viruses traveling around the world. He said, roughly 20 years ago we began finding genetically similar viruses occurring in very different environments around the globe. Viruses and bacteria can be sent into the atmosphere via sea spray and soil dust particles. Bacteria and viruses are typically deposited back to Earth via rain events and Saharan dust intrusions, Suttle explained. His team wanted to figure out the amount of that material that travels to altitudes of 2,500 to 3,000 meters past the atmospheric boundary layer. At those altitudes, particles can be transported longer distances than can particles that are lower in the atmosphere. Suttle, based in Canada, partnered with researchers in Spain and the U.S. for the study. Researchers in Spain's Sierra Nevada mountains, which reach heights of more than 3,400 meters, track the number of viruses and bacteria deposited onto Earth per square meter each day. They found that millions of strands of bacteria and billions of viruses per square meter came down each day. Every day. More than 800 million viruses are deposited per square meter above the planetary boundary layer. That's 25 viruses for each person in Canada, Suttle explained. Suttle said, this preponderance of long-residence viruses traveling the atmosphere likely explains why viruses have been popping up in different places around the globe. It's quite conceivable to have a virus swept up into the atmosphere on one continent and deposited on another. The researchers in Spain discovered that the rates of viruses being deposited on Earth were 9 to 461 times larger than the deposition rates for bacteria. They also found that the rates at which rain and Saharan dust intrusions cause viruses to travel differ. Study author Isabel Richet said, the rain was less efficient removing viruses from the atmosphere. Additionally, her team determined that most viruses they analyzed appeared to have been swept into the air by sea spray. Viruses tend to cling to lighter smaller, organic particles that are suspended in gas and air. This allows viruses to stay in the atmosphere longer.